Apple is gonna completely revolutionize the iPad Pro later this year with their brand new redesigned M2 model that is gonna have some changes that you were totally not expecting, not only on the iPad side, but also on the Magic Keyboard side, and they might even give us a brand new, larger sized iPad, which is extremely unexpected. But before I talk about that new 14.1 inch iPad, I've gotta go through all of the leaks and rumors that we have for the M2 iPad Pro that we're gonna get here in a couple of months, so let's dig in. First of all, just a couple of days ago, Mark Gurman gave us a brand new report talking about new iPad Pro models with the M2 chip. Yes, the same M2 that Apple just revealed at WWDC that they're putting into the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro. That chip is going into these new iPad Pro models. Not only that, but he's saying that we're gonna get wireless charging. Yes, wireless charging on an iPad, which sounds weird, but I am gonna explain with some actual Apple Apple patent filings, and he's saying that it's gonna be coming in either September or October. But getting into the whole wireless charging for iPad Pro thing, the first time he mentioned it was back in December when he mentioned that this year we'd be getting an iPad Air 5, an iPad 10, and of course some new iPad Pros, but it would have wireless charging. Now we actually came back and gave us an update in March saying that the iPad Pro was still launching fall 2022 with an M2 chip, yes, he still agrees, and MagSafe charging. Now, if you know anything about MagSafe charging, Apple actually actually has two versions that they like to use right now. But the one he was talking about was actually the wireless aspect. So yes, the same MagSafe charging that we have on the back of the iPhone, he said would be coming to the iPad Pro. And the way I know that for sure is because he made a report back on June 3rd of last year. Where he said it would feature both wireless charging and reverse wireless charging capabilities. So essentially, his main point was that the new iPad Pro would have a glass back which would allow the MagSafe to work. So you would actually be able to charge the iPad Pro, but also charge other accessories. Like for example, putting your iPhone on the back of the iPad, your AirPods or other accessories by laying them on the back of the iPad. And of course, with the magnetic connection that would allow you to use it and have something charging at the same time. And by the way, almost a year ago, I made a video talking about the iPad Pro getting MagSafe charging, as you can see in this thumbnail image with the actual puck charging the iPad iPad Pro through the Magic Keyboard. Not only that, but I made another one about five months ago showing how AirPods will actually be charging on the back of the iPad Pro, which is actually very convenient. However, we had some issues when on January 14th, 9 to 5 Mac came out with an exclusive report saying that Apple hit some roadblocks with its plans to redesign the iPad Pro with MagSafe because it was said that the glass back was too weak and because of the risk to damage it and crack the glass, Apple may have scrapped their plans for the glass back. So because of that, they said there's a chance that Apple could be making a larger Apple logo made out of glass and the actual MagSafe puck would connect through that logo. So the whole back would actually be metal, except for that little glass logo. So I worked with Renders by Shyless to create some new iPad Pro renders, showing off a larger Apple logo. As you can see, this one is quite a bit larger. And here is the MagSafe puck on the back, just perfectly slotting into place and charging it. However, we have been getting some reports and speculations from some people like Bob, on Twitter who says it's coming in October and he believes it's actually gonna be MagSafe 3. So I asked him why he believes MagSafe 3 and he says he heard about MagSafe coming on the iPad Pro, but MagSafe from the iPhone does not make sense, especially because of the Magic Keyboard case. Now I disagree with him because I believe the Magic Keyboard case might get MagSafe, which I'm gonna get into in just a moment, but he says that MagSafe 3 would give you a free port while charging, which is especially useful since the iPad Pro only has one port. So I would agree that would actually make it nice. And the cool thing about that is that I actually made a video about six months ago showing off that idea of MagSafe 3 on the side of the iPad Pro. And I made that video because we actually had some interesting CADs that were leaked, I believe from XLeaks showing off these little connectors on 
the side of the iPad Pro, which could point to MagSafe 3, but honestly, in my opinion, I think the wireless charging MagSafe makes more sense because you'll be able to reverse wireless charge your other MagSafe accessories, and Mark Gurman has been talking about wireless more than he has about wired. Now, before I get into all those magic keyboard patents and leaks, I wanna talk about the release dates for the actual M2 iPad Pro because Mark Gurman believes it's coming in September or October, and I am going full force with October because I believe the iPad Pro is on a one and a half year upgrade cycle or timeline. And according to this timeline of all the iPad models, you can see that from this iPad Pro to the next one was around a year and a half, and then again, Again, from here to here, around a year and a half, once again, around a year and a half. Now, this model, the 2020, going to the M1, was only one year, which was a little bit weird. But as you all know, it's already been over one year since the M1 iPad Pro was released. So if we wait until October, that would go back to the one and a half year timeline. And I don't think it's gonna get delayed to around two years in the spring of 2023. So I am sure that it's coming this fall, likely in October. Now, moving on to some more leaks, there was a Twitter user who asked Majin Boo, who is a pretty reliable leaker, if the 11-inch iPad Pro coming this year is getting mini LED, and he said, no, it is not. He said, maybe next year, but not right now. And that is interesting because Ming Chi Kuo last year in July actually said that the 11 inch model was gonna feature the mini LED display, but Majin Buu says that is not gonna happen. And not only that, but Ross Young, who is the most reliable display analyst and leaker for Apple products, actually came out with his new super follower program, which is $5 a month, where he gives us exclusive leaks and he replies to tweets. So I asked him, is mini LED coming on the 11 inch iPad Pro this year? And he says, no. Apple is gonna be focusing mini LED on the 12.9 inch and larger iPads and MacBook Pros. So he agrees with Majin Buu. And now another topic I wanna to talk about in terms of this year's iPad Pros is actually the potential for a new smaller Apple Pencil, which John Prosser from Front Page Tech leaked and talked about saying that this new leaked Apple Pencil from Mr. White is actually shorter than the current one, which means that Apple could actually be working on a new one for this year's iPad Pro releases. So let's wait and hope for that. But now let's get into those magic keyboard patents by Apple. As you can see, last year, actually maybe in 2020, Apple won a patent for a next-gen magic keyboard featuring a retainer and wireless recharger for the Apple Pencil. As you can see, it shows the Apple Pencil system where it retains it and recharges it within the actual Magic Keyboard case hinge. And not only that, but this new updated Magic Keyboard case features a double hinge. As you can see, there's one hinge right here and one right here in this image, which allows you to fold the entire keyboard case backward to have a nice level surface for drawing, taking notes, and everything else you would need. So that would be the second gen Magic Keyboard. Not only that, but we got some actual patents for a MagSafe magnetic core within iPad keyboard cases. As you can see right here, it shows the actual MagSafe with the magnetic ring. And once again, here's another patent showing a future Magic Keyboard with two wireless power coils. That means double the MagSafe. Now it's not gonna look like this because it's not a design patent, it's a utility patent for the actual technology, but it talks about being able to recharge your devices such as an iPhone, Apple Watch, AirPods case, and more on the back portion of the keyboard case, which points to reverse wireless charging with MagSafe, which is exactly what Mark Gurman leaked and talked about. But now finally getting into the reports of the third larger iPad Pro size, Majin Buu talked about a 14.1 inch iPad M2 with 512 gigs of storage, 16 gigs of base RAM, alongside the 11 inch and 12.9 inch iPad Pro launching in either October or November. Now, some people were actually doubting him, but Ross Young came out and confirmed that yes, Apple is in fact working on a 14 
8.1 inch iPad, but it's actually not what you think. Now, there are a lot of details, including some brand new leaks about the 14.1 inch iPad, and there's a lot to unpack. So I'm gonna leave that for a totally different video because this one's already running a little bit long. So if you're not already subscribed, do so right now so you don't miss out on that fully dedicated 14 inch iPad video. But going back to what I'm completely sure about, we are gonna be getting a new M2 iPad Pro in an 11 inch and 12.9 inch size later this year, and I think it's coming in October with the new M2 chip. So with that said, if you disagree with any of my takes on this video, go ahead and comment them down below. But if you enjoyed the video, click the circle button to subscribe for more videos like this one and check out one of those two right there. And definitely stay tuned for the dedicated 14 inch iPad video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.